I am Dr. Ian Lewis, uh, and I am an AIHS uh, Translational Health Chair in Metabolomics, and I am also an assistant professor here at the uh, Department of Biological Sciences at University of Calgary. One in 25 people who go to the hospital um, will acquire an infection, and that results in 220,000 infections a year in Canada and 8,000 deaths. This problem is actually getting worse because uh, bacteria are becoming increasingly uh, resistant to antibiotics. And there's actually a global health crisis right now where we need to find new ways to detect and control um, microbes and um, opportunistic pathogens. Our research is uh, centered around uh, the idea that the way uh, microbes digest their food has a direct impact on how dangerous they are. And uh, we investigate this, this topic using a uh, really exciting new generation of analytical tools and the overall approach we call metabolomics. So metabolomics is radically different from traditional methods of in investigating metabolism. So whereas traditional studies will investigate uh, one or two molecules at a time, metabolomic studies might interrogate a hundred or a thousand molecules. The main challenge in doing these studies is that the analytical tools are not very well established. It's sort of the wild west. And so what our lab specializes is wrangling these unruly analytical tools into something that generates biologically meaningful data that we can actually apply to the clinic. We have three primary objectives in our, in our group. The, the first goal is that we want to develop clinically relevant tools for identifying the most dangerous microbes in uh, clinical settings. Uh, the second goal is we want to establish the scientific foundation for a new generation of antibiotics. And the third goal is that we want to translate these tools from the research setting to the clinical setting to allow clinicians to tailor their therapies dependent on the strain of microbe that people are infected with. And the idea is that not all microbial strains are equivalently dangerous. And for example, antibiotic resistant bacterium needs special kinds of drugs to control. So our hope is that we can use this to, uh, to detect the most dangerous strains and allow clinicians to uh, more aggressively treat those patients. We are building the next generation of analytical tools that allow us to detect the most critically ill patients in clinical settings. And uh, the technology we're developing will allow us to uh, tailor medicine to these most sick patients and it'll prevent uh, people from dying in Canada.